<laughs> Hello, this is Bonner from Bonner.tv, and today I want to talk about Elite Dangerous. Specifically, I want to talk about the Elite Dangerous April update, which was announced today by Will Flanagan, Muni Manager over at Frontier Developments. This April update is going to release on Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. As promised in the beginning of March, Frontier is going to be releasing a series of smaller updates as they lead up to their major update in 2020. This brought a lot of controversy in the community, and I did a video talking about it myself. I put the link in the video description. One of the topics that was promised in this series of updates is new user experience and new user onboarding. The first item in the April update is the beginner zone. For new players in Elite Dangerous, a new collection of systems have been added so that new players can get the hang of the game without fear of dying. This system can only be accessed to new players who have not reached their first rank in combat, trade, or exploration rank. Also in the zone, there'll be reduced rebuys so players with not a lot of credits can get by. The next thing that's going to be added is a new docking computer called the Advanced Docking Computer. This docking computer mimics the existing docking computer which allows you to automatically dock into stations without worrying about blowing up. It also has the ability to undock as well, so you don't have to worry about smacking into the mail slot when you're leaving as a new player. This module will come standard in all new ships purchased, and new players will have it right off the bat. Another new user module that's going to be added is called Super Cruise Assist. I like to call this module the Anti-Loop of Shame module. Super Cruise Assist is a module that will allow you to target the system and automatically go to that system and come out of Super Cruise at the right moment, thereby preventing the loop of shame. As a result of these two new modules, free module slots are going to be added to all ships. Small ships are going to get two new optional slots, while medium and large ships are going to receive one additional optional internal slot. Once this update comes out, all ships will be retroactively fitted with these new module slots. The next thing that's going to be added is a navigation tab, which will give you a bunch of information about the system that you're in. This column will give you activities, mission targets, plotted routes, and wanted status if the threat level is too high. Within this new tab, a new category called Activities has been added, which will give you stuff about combat bonds in the combat zone, mining asteroids at a resource extraction site, and things of the like. Threat level has also been added, which will give the pilot an idea of whether they can handle the activities in that system. The pilot's handbook is going to be similar to the codex, except it's going to give you some information on what you can do as an elite dangerous commander. It'll also go over the prerequisites required before you can do these things. Trading screen improvements is going to add some more information to the commodities market so that trading can be easily done. Two new panels are going to be added to the commodities market, buy and sell. These panels will give you information about the commodities relevant to any active missions you're on, additional icons to provide feedback of profits and supplies, trade data on nearby local systems per commodity, more information on buy and sell commodities, also the ability to select markets or goods and view their trade data in the galaxy map. As promised in the March letter, we're also going to get a series of activities that they previously dubbed community events and they've given them the name Interstellar Initiatives. These are a series of in-game events which we don't know much about but we'll be giving information about them later on. On top of all this, we're going to get a revamped main menu with Galnet and other information. Training missions and challenge scenarios are now going to be accessible in the cockpit. Loading screen tips and bug fixes. All in all, it's a pretty sizable quality of life update and exactly what I expected from Frontier. A host of welcome new changes for new users to get into the game and actually stay into the game. I'm also happy that we got optional slots in our ships. Two new optional slots in our small ships and one in the medium and large ships is going to change up the gameplay quite a bit to mix it up so that players can come back and try new things. I can already imagine some of the Ferdinand's builds that are going to come out of this. The advanced docking computer in Super Cruise Assist is going to make trading that much easier. Also, Super Cruise Assist will help with mission running and grinding rank. Look for this update on April 23rd, 2019 from Frontier. This is Borna from Borna.tv and this is the Elite Dangerous April update. Please click that subscribe button if you enjoyed yourself and ring the bell for updates. Also, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Merchandise is available at shop.spreadshirt.com slash TV. Have a great day.